You can download the app in the Google Play Store as well as in the Apple uh, Commensurate Store as well. So you want to go ahead and install it. Once it's, it's installed, then you just hit open. It will take you to the first uh, screens, which sort of give you an overview of the app. And from there, you can click get started and sign up for an account. Or what I like to do is just go to sign in. And then you can use your Google or Facebook account to sign into the app. Go ahead and click allow to allow notifications to be sent to you by the app. And then you're taken into our, <clears throat> our home page. The home page has an endless feed of healing tools and things you can use to assist you in your healing journey. It's updated each day with multiple tools that you can use. So when you log on, you'll have a daily exercise. Each day, there's a new exercise added. And there's also a meal inspiration. So each day, you'll be able to uh, see a different idea for a meal that you can prepare. And there's also a daily meditation. The daily meditation is an audio, which is a guided meditation by myself and I'm helping you to be able to access your subconscious mind and make the necessary changes to heal. We need to meditate every day and these daily guided meditations will help you to heal faster. Inside this audio player, you can hit play, you can rewind backwards, forwards, you can control where you are in the audio using the status bar. And you can also control the speed. So if you want to slow down the pace or speed up the pace, then you can do so right here. This is a guided meditation to help us overcome anxiety. What you'll notice is even when you turn your screen off, the meditation is still able to play. That way, if you're listening to the meditation and you don't want the screen to be on, uh, because of the bright light or you're listening to the meditation while you're on a walk and you're putting it in your pocket, you can actually utilize this meditation feature without actually having the screen on. So that's an added benefit. Each day there is a new video uploaded here into the app so that you can utilize this video in your edification. Your daily edification allows you to elevate your mind and help your thinking to grow, progress, and heal from your old ways of thinking. Watching the videos are an essential part each day to your healing, and you need to watch one of my videos every day. So you can utilize our player by simply tapping play and it brings up the video player functions of healing and happiness. It has full screen mode, so you can- As long as I've been video. working with trauma survivors. So you can watch the video on full screen. Um, but also when you click back out of full screen mode, then it brings your video into picture in picture mode. And this allows you to be able to move the video around wherever you need to. And this way you don't have to stay stuck inside of the video, but you can go ahead and continue using other features on the app. Or of course, you can use other features on your phone uh, so that you don't have to feel caught inside of the video, but you can let the video play while you're doing other things with your life. If you want the video to uh, go away, the small picture to disappear, then you just simply click on the X and the video will disappear. Outside of the daily posts that you'll find in this uh, endless feed, which is the homepage, 
You can also grab a meditation that you want based on a subject that's going to be applicable for you by simply selecting meditation at the bottom and then selecting the subject that will be helpful for you. Cognitive distortions, the mind, healing, and the list goes on. So there's already several daily meditations that are available for you that you can use. Each of these meditations is less than five minutes, and so you'll find these meditations to be uh, very helpful. Of course, there's a search bar here, so you can uh, search for what specific meditation you're looking for if you had one in mind. The same principle can be used for edification. You can select your edifications down below. And then they're organized also according to uh, their respective subjects. These edifications are all videos and you can go in and find a video that's going to apply to whatever it is you're looking to uh, learn more about or heal at that moment. On the bottom of the screen, you'll also find the journal feature. The journal feature allows you to do multiple things inside of it. If you click on the top right hand side where it says new entry, this will allow you to choose the type of journal that you would like to enter into. Obviously, if you pick free form journal, you can enter the date, the subject, and you can freely type any notes that you would like to type. You can type about your day or anything that you've learned. You can really make this your diary if you would like to. On the other hand, there's also a jot method entry type for the journal in which you have two sides uh, already split in the journal. So you can start working on uh, deciding or organizing through processing through your anxiety or your depression. So I like to split the sides into subconscious or conscious mind, but you might split the sides into your uh, child mind and your adult mind, um, your emotional mind uh, versus your logical mind. Um, so whatever you like to call these two parts of the brain, obviously for JAP method, uh, you can learn how to do the JAP method in the video that's posted on YouTube. And then you can use these sides respectively to be able to work out your anxiety. And you can even save this so that you'll have it there later for you if you want to access your job method. This is a nice tool because it's putting the job method in your pocket so that you can pull it out at any time faster than it's uh, convenient sometimes to find a pen and paper. The other type of new entry that you can do for a journal is the wait method. The wait method is for decision making. When you have a very difficult decision to make and you're not sure uh, what you should do, you can utilize this by having two sides of the page, but the four quadrants will represent the pros and cons of each side of your argument. At the top, you can write in what the two choices are, and then under each, we can write our pros and cons. So for instance, under uh, go to the party, uh, some of the pros for going to the party could be get free food, be with friends, have fun. And then some of the cons of the party could be maybe the party is far away and you would have to drive too far or this would give you exposure to bad influences if you go. So those would be my cons. Uh, and then you go on the other side and you have staying home. Same thing. What are my pros for staying home? Here I might write, I can work on my purpose if I stay home. And if I'm looking at the cons of staying home, I might say, well, then I could feel lonely or my friends won't understand me staying home. Now, once you have all of these in place, what the weight method uh, really does for you is allows you to rate, let's say on a scale of one to five, now which of these are most important to you. So let's say for me, getting free food is not really that important. On a scale of one to five, it's a two. Being with friends, pretty important, but not the most important, so I'm gonna give it a three. And for me, having fun is only a uh, two, on the other hand, the cons are that I would have to drive far, which let's say this is a three in my book, or 
I would have exposure to bad influence. I'd say to me that's really important. So I'll give that a five. Working on my purpose. Well, for me, that's extremely important. So I'm going to give that a five out of five. And then my cons are I could feel lonely. That's pretty important. So I'm going to give that uh, a three because I might not necessarily feel lonely. And let's say my friends, what they think, I realize that's not really important to me. Now, what I've done here is given weight values and the app automatically adds up the weight value of the pros and subtracts the weight value of the cons, which helps to actually take your decision and make it mathematical. So when I look at this at the very top, I have a weight value of one, negative one for going to the party and a positive one for staying home. Once it added up this five minus the four, then I had a positive one for staying home. Once it added up seven minus eight, there were really more cons for going to the party, giving me a negative one, showing here that according to my values that I listed, there's a clear winner. Staying home is actually two points better than going to the party in my case. Party. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So later on, I can remember my decision making process. And then it is here on a list of all of my saved uh, decisions that I've had to make in the past, which is really nice. Also on the bottom, there's the resources tab. When you click on resources, right at the top, you have all of your meal inspirations. And so you can go through if there was like a recipe that you forgot about or you want to go and access that recipe, you can go in and actually access that. And it has um, space for you to download uh, all of these PDFs that are on the app. Uh, that goes the same for the daily exercises. Uh, you can go in and access the daily exercise and uh, download the PDF. Uh, that's all available here on your app. Also inside resources are other categories. And then according to the category, you can choose uh, resources that are going to help for you. So let's say you're looking for that uh, pre-dating vetting list. Well, you can go ahead and download that here. The pre-dating vetting list gives you the download option. Um, so you can do that here, or maybe you're looking for, should I disconnect from my toxic parent? Um, those PDFs are, are here and these tools are available to you. And basically you can access them utilizing this feature. I'd like to bring your attention to the top of the screen. Um, here you have a little chat box, you have a settings gear, and then you have a notification bell. Um, let me show you what these do. If I click on the chat box, that's going to bring me to the message screen. Um, it gives me several options for messaging. Um, one is the chatbot. What the chatbot is, is an AI program that's actually trained by me. So you can type to this AI and the AI is trained in trauma recovery techniques so that if you're having anxiety or um, depression, then you can just talk to it as if you're in a session with me or Marissa. So let's see. Hi. It says, hello, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling anxious, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. On a scale of one to zero to four, what would you rate your emotional intensity? Uh, let's give it a four. Thank you for sharing that. Can you explain what you're perceiving or going through right now that's causing you to feel such intense anxiety? Yes, I just released a new app and I'm afraid people won't realize how good it is for them. Thank you for sharing that. It sounds like you're really invested in your app and its success. Why does the thought of people not realizing how good it is for them scare you so much? because I feel like it will be my fault if people don't get better. I understand. It sounds like you feel a lot of responsibility for well-being of others through your app. Why is it so important for you that people get better through using your app? Because I feel it's my responsibility to help everyone in the world. It sounds like you have a strong sense of duty and care for others, which is admirable. However, Feeling responsible for everyone in the world can be overwhelming. Why do you feel that this responsibility falls solely on you? I guess I feel like if anything bad happens, it's my fault. It 
It sounds like you might be experiencing a cognitive distortion known as personalization, where you believe that you are responsible for events outside of your control. Let's role play. Let's try a role play exercise to gain some perspective. Imagine you have a child or a mentee who is feeling the same way you are right now. They believe that if anything bad happens, it's their fault, and they feel responsible for helping everyone in the world. What advice would you give them in this situation? I would tell them that you can't take on all that responsibility because you're not God. That's a very wise piece of advice. Uh, you're right. No one person can take on the responsibility for everyone's well-being. Now let's apply this advice to your own situation. How can you remind yourself that you can't take on all responsibility and that it's not solely your fault if things don't go as planned? I can recognize that I have to leave things that are outside of my control to God and only control what I can actually do. That's a great approach. Recognizing what's in your control and what isn't can help alleviate some of the overwhelming responsibility. How can you apply this advice to your current situation with your app? I can simply inform people of my app, but not worry whether or not they make use of it. Just make sure that it's the best app that I can make it. That's a balanced approach and healthy approach. Focusing on making your app the best it can and informing people about it is within your control. Beyond that, it's up to users to decide how they want to use it. Now, let's re-rate your emotional intensity on a scale of 0 to 4. How would you rate your anxiety right now? A 1. I feel much better. I'm glad to hear that you're feeling better. It sounds like you've gained some valuable perspective on your situation. Remember, it's important to focus on what you can control and let go of what you can't. If you need further support, don't hesitate to reach out to Roman. So as you can see, this sounds exactly like me or Marissa or any of the specialists that are that are trained by me. And so you'll find that feature to be extremely helpful. And this is a very big deal that we've trained an AI this way because this could be the potential of making uh, mental health tools that are very effective like this available worldwide to people in every country uh, who wouldn't necessarily be able to get access to top trauma specialists or to be able to pay for therapy on their own. This tool could be an amazing supplement. But if you don't want to talk to a robot, you can also actually reach out and message uh, one of the specialists that will be here on the list uh, under uh, message a specialist. And then you can go back and forth in that messaging. Or you can just ask us a general question um, and you can type into this message box, free form, whatever your question is. And then uh, that question will ultimately come to me or someone on my team. And then we'll be able to answer your question for you. And then finally, you can use the book a session feature to go in, pick your specialist, and book a session uh, with them on our website. And we do got Natasha also on our website now, so we're happy for that. Going back to our main page at the top of the app, you have the settings icon. Uh, so you can go in there and you have the about us and your ability to change your password to put in biometrics so you can use your fingerprint to be able to open up your app. Uh, these things are important because we want to keep all of your healing information safe and private here on the app so no one else who touches your phone can actually see the information and the work that you're doing and things that you're journaling here inside of the app. Um, we have contact us features and the ability to delete your account altogether um, if you are done with the app for some reason. And you can also log out uh, utilizing what's here on your settings page. Uh, feel free to go in and uh, uh, update your account by creating your own uh, picture and uploading a fresh profile picture of yourself. And that will be great as we continue to add more tools to create a community. For instance, as you notice, we have the ability to like posts and your liking posts helps us to have valuable information as to what things you guys appreciate so we can make more of those things. And you can even leave a comment. Those comments that you leave will be visible to the broader community and all of the people utilizing the app which as of tonight, we may have as many as 40 or 50 people uh, using the app on the day of the launch. And we'll be at 100 within the first week, and then we'll continue to grow from there. In the top right-hand corner, you have the bell. This is a notifications bell. And this is going to allow you to create notifications to your own phone. Uh, so if you want to get that reminder in there to take time to meditate, you can go ahead and create that. So we'll call this label meditation. 
And this way I'll actually get a notification to my phone in the notification sections on the top of the screen uh, to let me know to meditate. And I can set the time that I want that to occur. And then I can set when or what days I want that to happen. So maybe every Tuesday, every Wednesday, or maybe I want this to actually occur every single day. And then once you go ahead and set that notification and hit submit, then that notification will continue to uh, go as long as you have it repeating until you go here and uh, open that up to uh, either cancel that meditation or to edit the meditation itself, or rather that notification. In order to uh, change those things that you've created, uh, here where you're setting it, you just click up here on the top right hand corner and there you can find the ones that you created and you can uh, go in and actually hit the delete to remove them. Finally, in the top right hand corner, uh, this little button and the top left hand corner rather is going to take you to something new we're creating called um, Mind University or maybe I'll call it a Roman University. Uh, but what Roman University is going to be is a collection of all of the courses that I don't make available to the public. And so through your subscription to your healing course, uh, you'll be able to get access to those courses. And those are going to be video courses such as uh, the healing course, but as well as Boundary School, How to Defeat a Narcissist, uh, Meditation Masterclass, uh, Self-Actualization, uh, Masculinity, Femininity, uh, and lots of other classes that I don't make available to the public. And I say things that I don't make um, available on the wider platform uh, to everyone, uh, just those who are enrolled as active members. So if you're already enrolled in the healing course, then you'll automatically be enrolled in Mind University when it launches uh, by August 1st. Uh, so make sure you enroll in the healing course now and you go ahead and start working through the healing course because we have so much more coming for you in terms of courses and there's no additional cost to those who are already enrolled in the healing course. So now is definitely the time if you were thinking about enrolling in the healing course, it's priced at $39 a month. Uh, this is definitely the time to do it. It's the best investment you can make and you get access to everything else that I'm dropping even though the general public won't have access to that. The most important thing with the app is to make sure you're using it every day and that's why we update it every day with a new meditation, a new uh, recipe, a new daily exercise because this is what's going to end a new edification every day because this is what's going to help you to stay on top of your healing and your growth because every day you have to be doing an exercise, you have to be meditating every day, you have to be edifying every day and you got to eat as well and so this is going to help you to stay locked in to your healing routine if you're using the app every day. So make sure when you download it, you take the app and you move the icon of your app to your front page on your phone or to your first place that you access so that every morning you can have a routine of going on the app. And of course, when we're going live, I'll go ahead and send through a notification through the app and that way you'll have that reminder that we're live so that you are able to be more regularly in attendance at our healing meetings. These meetings are free classes teaching you the higher concepts of healing and self-actualization. And it's so important that you're actually there and taking advantage of the information and participating in the class or just hearing some of the comments of others could be just what you needed to make something click, to change your belief, bias, or behavior and help you to heal faster. Uh, I'm positive that this app is going to be an amazing tool and we're going to work now uh, through the app and most of the things that we're, do, that we're doing. So everyone having the app helps everyone to be on the same page. Uh, with the healing work that we're doing, even though you're at different levels. Uh, for instance, at our meetings, I'll be referencing things on the app and using tools on the app to help uh, us to heal each other and help us to heal ourselves as individuals. So hopefully you'll find this app to be helpful and feel free to make suggestions uh, inside the app through the messaging feature um, as to what we can do better as we continue to grow the app and the many features that are available for you.